Hey, what's going on guys? Double One Eight Set Shadow here. Taking a step back from the broader look of Triple Drive, I want to zone in, zoom in on two of the new ride lines that we got from this set. In particular, just a few cards that come out of them. Especially because recently I have been seeing a lot of news about how expensive this first one, Luan, has become. Which... I could list off a few reasons as to why between Triple Drive's low printing to start and just not as much quantity on the market. But let's go ahead and actually take a look at the prices too. So Luon is one of the new ride lines which is based, it's similar to Youthberg in play. And right now if we take a look at its grade 3, we're seeing $16.90 as the lowest listed price right now with 15 listings. The market price is $8.46 right now, but you can see players have been buying this for as high as $17. And the current low listings are all around that mark right now. And it's not just Luan, but his trusty steed, Maris, who is also getting up there for only being a double rare of this set. 12 listings overall, $11 is currently the base price, and players have bought this price. Available listings are also right around there with a good amount of quantity and it's really just going to be a matter of seeing how long this hype can last. We are in the first week, but as far as I can tell, Luon is not that competitive either. So it's really, really I feel just a desire to want to play this. Even I felt like playing this when I first when I first heard about it from the Triple Drive set coming out in Japan, but seeing these prices makes me hesitate a bit, given that I think it should end up getting cheaper down the line. The other one is Rot Iron Dragon King Zeldlons, which is the Smithy-based ride line. This one uses set orders despite being a Dragon Empire-based deck, so it's kind of unusual to see. And this one is cheaper than Luan is right now at $8.95 for the base price, so basically $9 if you want to pick it up. And $4.62 is the current market price. Players have already been picking it up for close to $9. So yet another one where you wouldn't have expected it to be this high. But again, I chalk it up to just being a brand new ride line in a set that just does not have as much printing. And of course, the set order itself, the Rot Iron Workshop. This one is actually pretty cheap, and it's still and it has 12 listings right now. But 175 is the current low for it. 223 is the market price, and it's mostly getting bought recently around two dollars. So, Zedlon is definitely the cheaper between the two, but I would anticipate that they'd eventually go back down once there's more settling of the dust here but to be fair it's still going to be hard to pick these up so it, i feel like it's really going to take the release of divine z's first set to really get these things to go back down in that interim broken toys is only a rare reprint in the triple drive booster but it's pretty high value for just a rare 645 is the base price and players have been picking this up around the 650 mark on top of that Listings are as low as 550 right now, but not with very many quantities, so that doesn't really make the situation any better here. But Broken Toys has always been one of those more expensive promos that you had to pick up in the past, so... Well, I guess this is okay, given that. Trickstar! Let's just go over this one since it does have its SIR and its Secret Rare. $35 is the base price for the SIR right now, but the market price is $13.35, and the Secret Rare has not been bought yet, but there's only one listing available for $175. I have mixed feelings about that one. I don't know what the ratio of the Secret Rare is for this set, and given that it's Trickstar, that's not looking too bad to me, but it could go down... My gut feeling tells me it won't go down very much, even if it does. Talking a bit about Mushi King, Flat Stag Beetle. 
Now, naturally, I can't really talk about Mushi King when it comes to the when it comes to the bugs themselves because the bugs don't have any skills. But I want to draw your attention to this one for what this card is able to do before we actually go into that. Pricing on this one is 24 cents base and sells for as high as 50 cents right now, which is pretty typical of Mushi King. But this is the card that pairs with it right now, Super Kingfisher Hug. And I feel like I should have gone over this before when the Luard and Shiranui Stride deck sets came out because this... This is an alternate way to play Mushi King right now in stride based formats where this set order allows you to stun your opponent's vanguard, preventing them from standing during the next stand phase. And currently this set order is pretty cheap to pick up. It's 18 cents minimum and there are a lot of copies available for a single 19 cent listing right now. But it's mostly 25 cents after that, so it's still very easy to pick up, making this variant of Mushi King cheaper than the already cheap deck as it is, given that Japanese Beetle's the most expensive card at only about $3. Rebel Form Full Blast has been going back up in value, and now the base price on this is $27, where players have been buying this pretty consistently over the last day. And over the last few days, it's been going up. Overall, we're looking at 27 with only a few listings left before the card shoots up to about $50, which is going to be a huge gap in price, but I don't think it can sell that high. Despite Youthberg's popularity, we're still in the stride format, which could damper on its ability to get way too high. But something else that got bought out to my surprise, is Schneisel, who is from set 6 and is Youthberg support. And the triple rare is currently $15 base, but with a market price of $4.10. The FFR is currently as low as $18 right now with a market price of $41. Let's see if that's legit. Ooh, 8 copies. 8 copies available for $18, and we do have a number of copies in the $20, $24 range right now. And they just progressively make their way up there. But keep in mind, Schneisel is moving up on the triple rare side. Honestly, I still don't know why. I don't think it makes that good of a tech right now with Youthberg. But there's always the possibility that Youthberg will get other support down the line that could make this valuable. Still, I feel like it's just... I don't even know what where this is stemming from. But I'd be interested to hear if anyone else has an idea of it. There's another card from set 13 for Jojuold, Soul Severing Demonic Spear Knight Zangen. That is a long name. But this is a double rare that has been going up in value, where its market price is $1.68 right now. And the current available listings, well, there aren't that many of them left. Four listings left, and the card is now a base of $4. There is a $1 copy, but it's got a $5 shipping tag. So, yeah, why, why this one is so high now in comparison to a lot of the other Jujuled support is something I also don't understand. But it is up in value, just in case you're looking for Jujuled, just keep that in mind. You've also got Kolgaflan, which is the cycler for Dragon Empire. This card is going back up in value again, where it was selling for $20 before, and now it's moving up to $25, with a market price of just over $15, and there are only three listings available that go as high as $30 right now. As we get closer to Divine Z, I imagine this will continue to maintain a lot more value once we get to Varga, which is going to be one of the more popular units coming out of Divine Z to start. You've also got Lamina, which is going up in value too. This is the Cycler for Dark States. And recent sales on this card have been 17 18 Market price is also around 15 but there are only three listings at around $22 for all the listings that are currently available. So this is also going up in value. I think that's also... That's probably... Dread. That's also probably divine hype as well. Blagmire, 
but I'm not too sure given that I think you need to keep your soul for the ride line for that one. There's also been movement thanks to, there's also been a little bit of movement thanks to today's announcements, which brought up Flagberg support. Tier Knight Oryx is a Flagberg support card from set 7 to keep your eye on, where there's still a lot of listings available, and it's $2 base for the double rare, $3.90 base for the FR right now, and 8 listings. So there are a good amount, especially for a set 7 card, but I point that out because it's a set 7 card, given that it could get bought out at any time and get really high in value. Flagberg himself is still relatively cheap to pick up, 49 listings at 23 cents to start and a market price of 40 cents. It is a set three card and currently the SP is just over $10 for the base and a market price of just over 12. You've also got Inlet Pulse Dragon to keep in mind given that this is a pretty prime Flagberg support card, but it hasn't seen a big increase thanks to this announcement. It's still 16 to almost $20 for the base rarities, but the SP is currently at almost $70 with a market price of $45, and it's only got the one listing left. Operate Master Fryhot went up in value quite a lot without me noticing it. It's been selling for $35 recently and has a lightly played listing at $31, but almost all the other listings right now are 35 or over at this point. We're getting closer and closer to our new Wellstro, which definitely puts this card more into the spotlight. But it's still surprising to see that it took, it's at this point that the card actually saw its big spike in value. And I'm a little surprised about that. And our final card for today is the double R of Rampant Aspetta for Heroes. This card has been going up in value as well and has been selling for just over $6 for its recent sales with a market price of $3.38. And the available listings here go up to $7 and then you got to add that high shipping cost on it. But it's basically $8 or lower right now. So heroes are moving. I... In terms of what I have available, almost all my hero stuff has been, has been sold out with only a few things here and there. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.